your BAC has a profound effect on your DUI case. First and foremost, uh, if you think of your BAC as that little name tag that you stick on when you go into a convention or a meeting that says, hello, my name is Jeff, or hello, my name is Linda. In the context and in the court setting of a DUI case, your BAC is like, hello, my name is Mr. Point 0.17, or hello, my name is Miss Point 0.14. Uh, the court system and everybody in it looks at your BAC as really a barometer of how big a drinker you are. It is almost impossible to get anyone to believe that if you're a 0.23 or a 0.24, three times over the legal limit, you're not a very big drinker. By contrast, if you're just over the limit at a 0.09 or a 0.10 or a 0.10, then you don't look like a real heavy duty drinker. Secondarily, and also important, your BAC can affect the charge made against you. If it's your first DUI within seven years, meaning you haven't been convicted of a drunk driving within the preceding seven years, and your BAC is above 0.17 or actually 0.17 or greater, you can be charged with what we call super drunk, also known as high BAC and technically written up as operating while intoxicated with a BAC of 0.17 or greater. This is an enhanced first offense charge. It carries potentially more jail, although jail is usually easy to avoid, but it does carry more significant fines and costs, a generally longer period of probation, and a definitely more restrictive and longer period of license sanctions.